I feel for Igor supporting article when the entire Nigeria is saying Obi is the best candidate, Dr. Naya Modu. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. Dr. Naya Modu, a former president general of organizing the Igbo worldwide, expressed his sympathy for any Igbo political elite supporting the PDP's presidential nominee at a time when many Nigerians from other tribes are behind Mr. Peter Obi, a distinguished Igbo son. He continued by asking why the Igbo political class did not put regional interests ahead of political correctness and party loyalty. Apart from the fact that Obi is from the Southeast, which, according to equity and justice, should be permitted to produce the president in 2023. The former information minister claimed that the former governor of Anambra state stands taller than other potential candidates. Is wet. All I feel for those Igbo, including my state governor and my brother, Dr. Okwe Selim Udu, now supporting Atiku to be president after eight years of the presidency of another Fulani man. When entire Nigeria is saying that Peter Obi, who happens to be Igbo, is the best candidate in the race, is a pity, but they are entitled to their opinion. All I feel for those Igbo, including my state governor and my brother, Dr. Okwe Selim Wodu, now supporting Atiku to be president after eight years of the presidency of another Fulani man, when another Nigeria is when entire Nigeria is saying that Peter Obi, who happens to be a woman, is the best candidate in the race, is a pity, but they are entitled to their opinions. Hmm. Well, let's forget about Peter Obi being being an Igbo man in this matter. Because Peter Obi is not coming to be a Nigerian president because he's an Igbo man. No, he has not said, uh, it's my turn. Because it's the turn of Igbo people. That is why I want to be president of Nigeria. No, far from that. The truth remains that among the candidates, this man stands to be the best among them. This man stands tall among them. At least, he will try. Understand? But because of selfishness, waiting they will get from inside, you see them not looking at the other side. Then they support. Who then they support? Ah, is my party person. You are even talking about what of Joy Bokwe? Joy Bokwe is from the Southeast region. The man you are supporting. The man you are supporting is above 80 years. The man you are supporting is not physically, you know, you know strong. Let's just face the facts. Make we talk the truth. You know, say, we, everybody, they pray, make you reach that age. You know, say, when you don't the age, all these different, different things, go they come up. At this particular stage, what you require is what rest. You don't need to stress yourself that much. PDP and APC, these two candidates, they are supposed to be resting because they don't age, don't they come? You cannot, this is nature, this is nature, you cannot cheat it. There is no two way about it. Like what he said, let's forget about that those people, they are Igbo people. The truth remains that Peter will be stand tall among all the candidates that is on this race. But because of selfish interest, so many Nigerians do not want to look that way. This is how President Muhammad Buhari was marketed to Nigerians in 2015. Nigerians want to, you know, uh, change. They know they look the person inside. They don't care whether the person will fit to the job or not. For the fact that now this party now we vote for. But what? Nigerian youths are saying, 
we are not coming out for Peter Obi because he's in Labour Party. Even if Peter Obi come out for Labour Party, na na na, can't go another party where we never hear before. Nigerians go still follow him. Peter Obi they gather this crowd because of himself, because of his personality, because of who he is. You understand? This man, this man, he did okay. When you talk of corruption, when you talk of intelligence, he's energetic. So what are we talking about? Not the time we'll get president tomorrow and say he don't go to London. He's hospitalized. For how long are we going to continue like that? Nigerians have to wake up. Oh. Nigerians have to wake up. Now coming back to his words, it's a pity that your own brother could even betray you. These people, eh? Now not talk say, now not talk before now say, then they marginalize on her. I never get that slot of presidency once. Now on I lose that for PDP primary, for APC primary. The only option when I get now to get that uh, uh, seat, now I still they work against them. Now we say they even they work against them silently. They are coming out publicly to say it. It's not done anywhere. Since this thing started, have you ever hear any northern are coming out to say, eh, because I am an APC member, this and this and that, I think I'm not going to support you. My, my, my state is for APC and all that. They don't do that. They don't. But all these are our people. He get us to be. Well, like what he said, everybody is entitled to his or her own opinion. But the truth is that one vote for one person, you understand? And if we make another mistake, eh? As we they cry now and say, Buhari, take us back to uh, President Jonathan's regime. That time people go see they cry. Take us back to Buhari regime. Shame that they see the Buhari regime, if they sweet anybody. That is it. Everybody go collect from the soup. I'm dropping it. Here.